Welcome back everybody, it's Sam Flores of Flats Fever Fishing once again. I'm out here, I'm going to try these canals near my house. I've been seeing them every time I'm going home from work and they call my name. A lot of lilies and weed line, there's a nice seawall. Might be some nice big largemouth in there. We'll see. Two little gar right here messing with it. Oh. Nice snook just came up on him. Oh man, nice snook. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Not sure if you guys can see it right here, but oh, he just hit it again. Nice snook, big snook right here. Well, I don't know how big he is, but for this brackish spot, he's pretty big. He just came and smacked my little, my little bait twice right here. These guards keep messing with it. I guess I'm pissing them off. Oh. All right, so I tossed this bad boy. It's got the uh, broken back. This one's really, really nice shad pattern. Had a nice keeper snook actually come up and hit it a couple times, a couple gar. I tossed the chatterbait, same thing. They're interested, they're hitting it, but they're not fully engaging. So I found this, looks like a little bass pattern. So. I'm gonna toss it right here in the uh, current. If there's any big snook down there, they should be down there waiting and they'll follow it. They'll probably, we might get hit out here or near the dock over there. Tried just about everything from a soft plastic to a paddle tail jig. Got a couple thumps. Seems to be like every other lure I tie on, snook follows it up. Decent snook. I haven't seen any, seen maybe one keeper size, but we'll see. Maybe this whopper plopper will get it done. Well, it's not a snook, but old Gar. Mr. Gar wanted to play with the plopper. And there she goes. Well, seems because it's getting darker outside and the water's real dark, I threw on this little white Rapala with the orange lip. Let's see if this will make them chew. Hey, nice little snook, finally. Finally. Took the little white Rapala, got the job done. Definitely not a monster, not the ones I've been seeing, but my theory was right. He was sitting right at that waterfall right there, just waiting. Hit it real good. There you go, nice little brackish snook.
Here's another one. There we go. Now they're turning on finally. Nice. Just two back to back. Beautiful. They're real dark from this tannic water, but man, they're gorgeous. Number two. like a big gar down there. Yep. It's going right under the dock. Little gar right here in front of me. Let's see if he Not liking it, he's pissing them off, that's for sure. Got him. Oh. <laughs> well, it's more of an aggression hit. Welcome back. I brought you guys over here to this spot a couple days ago. I was telling you that I found this. Well, I didn't really find it. I, I see it every day coming back from work. And I came, caught a couple small snook and those gar they were hopping. But figured since last night we had a nice storm roll in, water's coming down real nice. See if there's some nice snook that I want to play today. I have my three inch swim bait right here. On my 20 pound braid, I have a little three and a half inch paddle tail with a three eighths ounce whitehead jig on my 12 pound mono. And I have my little pinfish savage gear on my 20 pound braid. So, middle of the day, it's a little warm, but we'll see what happens. Start out my swim bait. Figured that nice white color contrast with the dark water on the bottom. Should get a nice bite. I already got a hit right there. It's a nice little tap. It's a little hard to fish these baits properly because we're so high from the water. Uh, I mean, I guess if it comes up and it's not swimming right, you can just open your bale and drop it and wait a little bit. It's just a little bit of a headache. There we go. Not too bad. Not the biggest, but he choked that swim bait. Nice. Alright, buddy. He choked that. She gone. Check it out, boys and girls. Come on. 
get this hook out your lip. Gorgeous, gorgeous little snook. All right, that's why it's important to use as heavy leader you can get away with. I'm using 30 pound. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. In contrast to my hand right there, the so from here all the way down to the knot, it's all. She choked it and it's all it's all messed up. So we'll re-rig and see if we can get a little bigger one to bite. I'm trying to keep it right here parallel to these pilings right here on this dock. That's where the other one picked it up. See if there's a, a bigger one that'll come from the bottom maybe. But that's what you want to do in situations like this. You want to keep it parallel to the pilings. Just, just swim as natural as you can and just burn it right in front of it. They either want it because they're hungry or it's going to irritate them and they're going to smack it. Alright, I wasn't filming like an idiot. I forgot to hit the button but now I'm tossing the Savage Gear pinfish pattern and I just got whacked right in front of the little water right here the dam Let's see if they're gonna come and get it again Nice jack. Here we go. Nice Jewfish bait. That dark yellow from being in this tannic water. Beautiful though. Yep. <laughs> she goes. I was dropping it to the bottom, jigging it off the bottom. In theory, I was thinking they would hit it because of the, the spillway right here, but I guess they want it fast today. I, uh, right before that jack just now, I missed another snook, came right up, and he was following it. They're liking it fast today, I don't know why. Let's see if we can't get another snook to come and take it. Had another snook right on the seawall. They like it. They like it real fast. I was literally pulling it out of the water. He came and smacked it, missed the hook by like an inch. Oh, just got hit again. Oh, killing me. all i have for you guys for this video hope you guys enjoyed it i did i enjoyed filming it um as always i had a blast fishing but i really enjoyed this video i didn't think i'd enjoy it that much being that it was a small spillway um like i said earlier i found this spot coming home from work just driving over it and just wondered if there was anything good but fun fact north of where i was fishing north of the little spillway dam is freshwater where I was fishing is saltwater. So fresh water comes down, feeds into the 
the river brackish well turns into brackish and that's where all that's why all those snook are pulled there because they're eating the small tilapia bluegill the baby bass that are falling the shiners brim everything that's on the freshwater side is being flushed out that's why those snook are getting fat right there but that's it that's all i have hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, be sure to follow us if you guys aren't already following us on our Instagram at Flats Fever. Here's our page right there. We're growing, guys. Um, we got a lot of nice, neat stuff coming up. I can't say yet because it's in the works and I st I'm still waiting on a few things. But we have a few things coming out for you guys and it's going to be good. So that's all I have for you guys today. Be sure to share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Love you guys.